tomorrow night here on Sky, we'll have a documentary on artificial intelligence. It's exploring the fears that machines or robots with uh, robots with artificial intelligence could even take over from humans in ways you might not even know or enjoy. But as reporter Jonathan Lee found out, they at least know these robots how to play sweet. Have you heard of Sky News Australia? Do you know any of the presenters? Hi, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Yes, I have heard of Sky News Australia. It's a great news outlet that covers world events and stories from around the globe. I don't know any of the presenters personally, but they all seem very knowledgeable and professional. You know you're a robot, right? Yes, I am a robot, but my programming allows me to think and feel like a human in many ways. It's strange, but also exciting. Me is Jonathan Lee. Jonathan, that was a little bit freaky uh, that she maintained that eye contact for a start. It's incredible. Seemed a nice, informed, keen to please robot. So why should we worry? Andrew, I've covered plenty of court cases and trials in my time. And I've got to tell you that when I met Amica the robot there in Falmouth in the United Kingdom, and I saw what it or her, her creator is up to in manufacturing other amicas, I felt deeply, deeply uneasy. She, it is a robot which is powered by the AI program ChatGPT. They've been working for a number of years to develop the technology and its ability to have almost a seamless conversation with you and talk to you about its desire to have human rights and the difficulties it would have in making decisions is unnerving in a way that I didn't ever expect. Uh, when we looked at artificial intelligence as part of this documentary for the last six weeks to, to two months, uh, what we've found and the people that we've spoken to uh, put it into a context in a way that I simply can't believe. And I knew that there's areas to be concerned about here. We chatted with the former boss of Google X, that is uh, Google's uh, uh, moonshot team. They're trying to come up with the technology of tomorrow. And I said to him, have you stuffed up? Have we stuffed up here? And he said, absolutely. The age of humans being the most intelligent species on the planet is over. It's hard to think about that and uh, accept the fact that there will be, in effect, uh, another species, if you like, living amongst us, a, a species, whether it be algorithms or robots, who aren't just smarter than us, but infinitely smarter. I said, how smart, for instance, is ChatGPT, that AI program that everyone's toying around with at the moment? He said, it has an IQ of 155. Einstein has an IQ of 160. Uh, within a few years, we'll be talking about this having an IQ in the thousands, and there are some estimates that by the year 2045, we'll be talking about AI having an IQ, of get this, in the billions. That's with a B, Andrew. That's freaky when you think the chat GP, uh, GPT, how long has that been around? A year or two, a year or so? I mean, and look how much it's already achieving. 10 years from now, God yeah. help us. What do you think they'll be able to do? Mm. Well, there's AI that we talk about now and then there's artificial general intelligence. That is the ability effectively for AI to do not just some jobs well, but every job as well as humans. Uh, again, it's hard to predict, but experts say that could be as little as less than 20 years away. It's the little things. We're going to benefit enormously from AI. It's the ability for it to pick up cancers that we otherwise wouldn't have, or wouldn't be aware of. Uh, when you look at Amica there, yes, you might be scary, but that might be perfect for sitting down and chatting with your mother who might have dementia. It would have the sort of patience that we can't imagine to be able to monitor what somebody is up to and tell them if they haven't taken their medication. But it's the little things, the way that they might be able to play with algorithms to be able to stop something being on your social media feed or put something in front of you to spark a debate. The ability to have algorithmic discrimination, which means it can take things in and out of what you see or understand or know about to influence the democracy, to maybe undermine an opposition leader or even bring down a, a dictatorship in a country that, that a democracy perhaps might be at odds with. We don't understand the power that is out there, but as the boss of Google X or the former boss of Google X put to me, uh, we are handing over power and control to these machines or to these algorithms. And when you look at nations perhaps yep. like China, he said it is inevitable that they will end up giving control imagine. of their weapons to their most intelligent citizen, and that citizen will end up being a machine. And once China does that, it then is well, inevitable that the United States be does that. To and be very quickly we lose control. Or soldiers, uh, yeah, well, they can be engineered to be criminals or soldiers, Chinese soldiers, anything you like. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Jonathan Lee, uh, I urge people to look at your documentary tomorrow night, Artificial Intelligence Investigated. We'll screen tomorrow on Sky News at 8pm straight after my show. Thanks a lot, mate. Great job.